Hello, and welcome to the Grimcast. Uh, I'll have much of an opening sequence. But what did I say? Oh, I'm going to kick... What the heck? Did you just turn me into a heartbeat monitor? I'm going to chase you back for a flatline on you. Enough of the wacky screams are... Cast. <laughs> well, that was a funny opening bit. I admit. Now it's time for the show. So, today's show, well, yesterday I went around, and the day before that, went around the different forums that I'm on, and, uh, you know, gathered a bit of content. So we have even a guest review today. He's going to be reviewing his own game as if you could do that. He's going to be a preview. I want to say, guy but anyways, um, also I have a couple reviews today to do, but um, seems something went wrong because Yo-Yo Games has fallen down for some reason. It went offline today, so I'm hoping it'll be up. So, on to game news today. Uh, Insomniac Games is having a poll for those who play the games for a wrestling Clank Future or Crack in Time. They're having a poll and, you know, they're taking suggestions on gameplay mechanics. You want to get in that? The link is on the sidebar. So I was about to point that way and, uh, you know, probably a better. Uh, also in some more news. Well, not really news. I got Fat Princess. I went and bought Fat Princess, uh, for all of you who I told the last pass, I bought it. So, uh, it's a pretty fun game online. It's pretty diverse. I love using the workers' bombs because everybody else is clueless on how to beat me when I throw a firebomb at you. So if you want to play with me online, you know, in Fat Princess or any of my other games, my PSN ID will appear on the screen now. So, on to the next thing. I told you we have a guest, a uh, guest preview of his own game. It's called Mount and Blade. Um, the guest is Zen from the Twilight Phantasm community, member Zen. That is who it is. He asked me to review the game, and, uh, you know, I said, okay. And then he said, well, you have to pay for it. Then a whole bunch of bells and whistles. You know. So he came up with the idea of doing a preview of the game. Actually, he called it a review himself and sending me the video, in which he did. Now this video will be clipped. Uh, it's eight minutes long and, uh, you know, it's kind of not what we're trying to do here. So I will show you the parts that you need to see and some parts that, you know, might move it along a little. So here is the guest review. It's in here with a video review of Mountain Blade from the people at Terror Worlds Entertainment and Paradox Interactive. And Mountain Blade is set in the medieval times where the Black Death is going around killing millions. But still, you seem to be a mercenary who has the ability to go around and pretty much kill anyone you want. As you can see from the character your stats really, you have attributes, you have strength, agility, intelligence, charisma, and then you have a bunch of skills you can put skill points towards. And pretty much if you put, say, intel, say, three or four into intelligence, like I just did there, you get about, you get extra skill points, which I always do. Weapon points is just your, just how good you are with the weapon. Like, if you have a hundred archer, you're pretty good with an archer. The character head creation screen pretty much 
where you have a bunch of little sliders you can move around. I don't really pay much attention to this thing. I just really click randomize and and then, and then once you're done with that, you get pretty much thrown into the overworld, which actually would look a lot better on higher end PCs, but I'm running on something that's kind of medium-ish, low, medium low really. And so you pretty much you just click on where you want to go, and depending on one of your skills called spotting, you'll be able to. And then here is a little black screen for a second, and then we have they talk for a second, and I'll just shut up now to let the battle go on. Uh, that was uh, interesting, actually. It's one of the first Game Maker games I've seen that uh, can hold that kind of graphical quality and still give you some gameplay. You know, you really gotta hold the gameplay together because uh, Hayes is an example. Also, I've been asked to preview a game for you. Actually, two games. I'm going to preview two things for you. Uh, first one is a respected member of Yo-Yo Games' and Twilight Phantasm. Well, I'm not sure on Twilight Phantasm. But that member is Time, aka Drizzt7. That's right, I remembered. But that member is Time. And he asked me to review... He asked me to mention a zombie shooter project. He's, he asked me to preview his zombie shooter game he was doing. And uh, so I decided to preview that for you. I'm about to show you a video now. Alright, loading. All right. Oh, look at his little logo. So as you can see, it's a pretty nice looking shooter. Uh, time has always been known... Let me zoom that in. Time has always been known to uh, give you a nice visual presentation for these games like Puzzle Blob and Puzzle RPG, which I enjoyed both of them. And this one's no different. Now, I played this game before, and I have to say I was pretty impressed at the presentation and the music and how it keeps it together. One thing I did note, I'm pretty sure he's going to fix this, is that your only source of ammunition is the zombies. Now, you can note that, because if you kill one, you know, see that flash screen, regenerate. But if you notice that zombies, if I kill this guy, probably. Uh, zombies are the only ones that drop ammo. Now, I've run out of ammo before in this uh, demo, so. Well, I got eaten. Anyways.